What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to this episode of Restoration with Vic. For today's episode, we got these super cooked olive green Jordan 12s that I just picked up from eBay for 100 bucks. 100 bucks may seem like a lot, but that's honestly a steal for these because I know these are gonna clean up nicely. We're gonna go in using rejuvenated products and bring the shoe back to life. We're also gonna remove the yellowing from the soles, repaint the midsoles, and take care of these toasted suede uppers. We got a lot of work ahead of us, so let's get started. I was an eye on you guys. These are cooked. Heel drag, minty gum, heavy yellowing. <sighs> These are also gonna need to repaint badly. The uppers don't even feel like suede anymore. Spots on the toe box, heavy creasing. Honestly, these right here are the perfect candidate for a restoration. I'm excited. First things first, you guys, as always, let's put this shoe to the side for before and after purposes. Next, let's take out our shoelaces and insole. Good to go with that. For this cleaning, we're gonna be using Rejuvenage Essential Shoe Cleaning Kit that comes with all three brushes, medium, soft, and stiff. It also comes with our solution and microfiber towel. To get this cleaning done right, we're also gonna be using our cleaning mat and bowl of water. Typically, when it comes to my restorations, whenever I can, I like to put the shoes inside the washing machine because that gets the shoes cleaned up inside and out. In this case, that is not the best thing to do because the uppers contain a lot of suede. So for this cleaning, our best bet is using our Essential Shoe Cleaning Kit. The first thing we gotta do is grab our saw bristle brush and brush off all the surface dirt off the uppers. Before I move on you guys, let me show you guys the insides. Disgusting, right? These are the insoles covered in debris and dirt. Look at the insides as well. sand, dirt, grass, all types of debris. Now that you guys know how bad the insides are, you guys, we cannot go straight to applying solution and water to the shoe. We gotta vacuum up the insides first. It's a lot better, much needed. Now, let's continue on to the shoe trees. Let's adjust it to size, put it into the shoe. This will help us remove the creasing during the cleaning process. Now the last step we gotta do before we start cleaning the shoe is grab our four ounce spot of solution, our bowl of water, and squirt two squirts. Now to start cleaning. The first brush we're gonna be using is our stop bristle brush. We're gonna dunk it in our water solution and start going at the uppers. Uppers are overall looking a lot better, you guys. We're definitely just getting started. We have a lot more work to go. We'll come back to the uppers in just a bit. Right now, what I need to focus on are these soles, actually. The soles are probably the worst part of this whole shoe. So we're gonna go straight to the slippers of brush and start cleaning up these soles. Soles look a lot better, you guys. Right here in the middle section of the sole, we got some pretty big gum pieces stuck on the sole. We'll be using some Goo Gone and some small scissors to get that stuff out, and then we'll go back to cleaning. Soles are good to go, you guys. We got rid of that gum. Now let's jump back to the uppers. For the uppers, we'll be using our medium bristle brush to take care of the midsole. While we're at it, we're also gonna go at the suede a bit more. There's a couple of stains that I can still see. We're gonna try to get those out. All right, guys, last thing we gotta do is put this brush to the side. Move back to our saw bristle brush so we can take care of the insides. While I'm at it, I'm also gonna take care of this insole and put the shoelace inside our bowl of water with solution. Let that soak up in there so we can break down all that grime while we clean up this shoe. Like I always say, the insides are as important as the outsides.
All right, guys, cleaning's all done. Let's put these outside so they can fully dry. We'll come back and remove the yellowing. See you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we are back. Thanks to our essential shoe cleaning kit, this shoe turned out great. We still have to reset the nap on the suede, but we'll come back to that later. Right now, we're gonna focus on the yelling of the soles. We're gonna be using Salon Care 40, Saram Wrap, and the sun to fully remove it. We're gonna do both sides. The trick to it here is to be very careful around the toe box, because it does contain suede. If any of the Salon Care 40 gets on those areas, it'll ruin it completely. Be very careful if you're doing this at home. All right, let's put these under the sun. We'll be back. We are back from letting these shoes cook outside. What the f is that screaming? We are back from letting the shoe cook under the sun. Originally, we had all this deep yellowing all around the sole, but thanks to the Salon Care 40 and the sun, we got these back to 100% white. I usually do this step in every single restoration that I do, but on this specific project, it makes a world of a difference. Originally, these soles were the, probably the worst part of this whole shoe. We had some deep yellowing, deep grime stuck inside the texture of this material, and we have some nasty gum all under the sole, but now they look almost brand new. But we still have a lot of work to go on the uppers. We still have to take care of the suede and these midsoles. The first thing we're gonna do is work on these midsoles. Before we start painting, we gonna do some prep work so the paint adheres properly to this material. But before I do that, you guys, let me show you guys a close-up of these soles. I'm just so proud of how these look. Back to white. Yellowing's all gone, no more grime, no more nasty gum. All you need is some elbow grease, some rejuvenator, Salon Care 40, bam. Oh, and for this step, we'll be using acetone and cotton balls. Good to go with the prep work. If you guys may have noticed, I did not use any tape on the uppers during that process. That's simply because I feel more comfortable not using it. If you guys feel the need to have to use it during this process, be very careful, because sometimes the acetone can slip under and ruin the uppers. Now let's move on to the painting. For this perfect color match, I used olive, avocado, black, and yellow. Super easy, you guys. For this part, we'll be laying it down with the paintbrush, and once again, no tape for the same reason. Real quick, here's a close-up of that fresh midsole repaint. Clean lines all around. No paint where there shouldn't be. Color matches on point. No tape, gang. Before. After. Before. After. Good to go with the midsole repaint. It came out really clean. Off camera, I went outside and sprayed these with some Carla Matte finish to fully protect the paint job. Now we're on to the uppers. Usually after every cleaning on a suede pair of shoes, you gotta reset the nap on the suede to take it back to its original soft texture. There are different types of suede. Sometimes you gotta use a brass bristle brush or a soft bristle brush to take it back to its original soft texture. In this case, we're gonna be using a medium bristle brush. Suede is back to being 100% soft, you guys. This is some good quality suede. Now the only thing that's missing is a little bit of color. So we'll be using some old school Rejuvenator Vic Almighty Mink Oil. Pretty much what we're gonna do is spray a couple of coats all around, then brush it in with a soft bristle brush to bring back the color. Don't worry, you guys. I'm working super hard with Rejuvenator to bring this stuff back to you guys. Stay tuned for that. Now, typically for this step, you wanna go outside and do it in a well-ventilated area, but in this case, it needs very minimal mink oil, so we're just gonna do it in here. Boom. 
What's going on guys, Johnny Bubbles here. Let's get into this month's sneaker giveaway. So we teamed up with our friends at Many World Sneaker Boutique to give you guys a chance at winning a Hyper Royal One in your size. All you have to do to enter is follow three easy steps. Click the link in the description below and sign up for Rejuvenator's newsletter. Follow Many Worlds on Instagram and enter your shoe size. You must follow all three steps to be considered an entry. Good luck guys and let's get back to today's video. There you have it, YouTube. That is gonna bring us to an end on this full restoration on these olive green Jordan 12s. This project as a whole turned out awesome. We got this off eBay for a great price. The restoration itself came out beautiful and the project did not take very long at all. Now, let's take it from the top. The very first step we did was use Rejuvenator's essential shoe cleaning kit to get the shoe a proper deep clean and set it out. Once the cleaning was all done, we moved on to the soles. This was probably the worst part of this whole restoration. We had some deep yellowing, heavy grime all around and some nasty gum all around the soles but thanks to the slip bristle brush salon care 40 in the sun we were able to get these back to brand new white then we moved on to the midsoles did some light prep work and laid down a fresh coat of paint and we finished off this restoration by giving the uppers a nice couple of coats of rejuvenator vic almighty mink coil this restoration came out clean you guys you can find all the rejuvenator products at rejuvenator.com hope you guys enjoyed this video this is vic almighty i'll catch you guys next monday peace